The humerus, or upper arm bone. This is the head of the humerus. The round head of the humerus forms the ball and socket joint with the glenoid cavity or glenoid fossa on the scapula. Below the head is the neck of the humerus. There are two processes. This is the greater tubercle and this is the lesser tubercle of the humerus. On the lateral surface of the diaphysis is a rough ridge. This is the deltoid tuberosity. This is where your deltoid muscle will attach. This round knob here is where the radius rotates. This is the capitulum. And this groove formed here is where the ulna forms the hinge joint of the ulna. And this is the trochlea. This is the medial epicondyle. And this is the lateral epicondyle. In the back or posterior is the alacranon fossa, and this is where the alacranon process locks out when you straighten out your elbow. This is a left humerus because the head has to go medial, forming the ball and socket joint. The deltoid tuberosity has to go lateral, and the alacranon fossa has to go posterior or towards the back. So this is a left humerus.